What's up, YouTube? This is C Dog, and I'm back with another SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z review. And this time it's on Golden Frieza. And we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Actually, we're going to take a quick look at both uh, SS uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan uh, Son Goku, and Golden Frieza from, from the DVD there. That I do own, and I can't remember the name of at the moment. But anyways, uh, we got both of the boxes. I was going to give them in the background, but they they did seem to be taking up quite a bit of of color or something. So we got freezes here, and as you can see, he's got like, a couple poses with Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Not bad, and we got. And I just wanted to show you the two together because there's a difference in size and box. Uh, one is a little skinnier and, you know, obviously freezes is. And I'm also going to show you um, the the height of Frieza. So here we go. We got Son Goku's box doing a few poses. Pretty cool. All right, so we're going to remove those out of the way. And we got... I gotta redo everything now with the lights. And we got Golden Freezer right here. And he is friggin' awesome. He's a small figure, but a great figure. I just, just gotta put that out right there. Uh, as you can see, he's got a standard head on, his standard face on right now. And he just sparkles with gold. I love it. And he has some, um, his standard hands, he comes with two fists, really small. They're nice and easy to go on, though. I'm not even sure if I can hold these. But, uh, uh let's see. Yeah, this is gonna, is it gonna, it might be too small to, there we go. Standard fists. I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but he does come with this cool, uh, fingernails painted and everything, uh, pointing finger, uh, pointing hand, sorry, molded in real nicely, painted nicely, looks beautiful, there's really no problems with that whatsoever, and it goes on really, really smooth, I, I will show you as I turn the fists back, but, and as you can see, I have him in a pose, kind of pushing some energy towards Goku, and uh, just to show you, this is Goku. I have him in a standard just to show you the difference in... Uh, oops, I got a little plastic left still to take off. Let me just do that really quickly, guys. Uh, sometimes I take the plastic off and it's all loose. and Sometimes it's not. But I put him with his standard head because I like him in his standard head quite a bit. It's one of the reasons I bought this figure versus I already have a Goku and I figured I'd buy this figure. He's got Weez's signature where we signed it in the in the movie. Um, and as you can see, they're quite a bit different in size. So we'll just do a quick uh, a quick uh, measurement here him to stand I gotta start getting something harder because this soft board makes it hard to stand my figures on for the reviews um, so Goku he's probably about six inches let's see Goku is six inches to the top of his head to the top of his hair he's higher and I'm just gonna revert these because it's easier to do this and my guess is this guy's about three and three quarters but let's check it out and Frieza here is whoop. See what I'm saying? On the on the wooden, he stands no problem. I like no problem at all. But here, he's having problems. He's a little over four inches. He's about four and a quarter. A little over that, maybe. So, as you can see them together, they look good together. And he, I'll do this review next. So going back to Frieza here. 
Um, he looks great, and his uh, hands, they, you know, they pull out no problem, nice and easy. Put on his fists, put, pop in no problem, same with the other hand, nice and easy, pops out. I'll even put the, the posing hand on. There we go. There. Okay, so looking at the details, he's really nice. He's like a two-tone gold. Really cool. He's got he's got yellow gold and almost like a. He's got like gold gold and then like almost like an orange. It's like yellow gold and orange gold. Almost a bronze color. Very poseable. Awesome figure. Great paint job. Give it up to. Tamashi Nations and Bandai to Japan for this figure because it's just done beautifully. My light would stay up. I'm gonna be buying a, a another. I have a, a right hit, a light for the right, but it's it's stationary. It's not like this one where I can move it around. So I'm gonna buy an exact copy of this. Um, and yeah. So he's got a uh, purple painted feet, nice little painted toenails. You can see the wrinkles in the bottom of his feet. Really cool. Plus, it does give you some traction. So on the wood, on the wooden table over over here, he stands no problem. So that's looking at the bottom of his feet. His hands are painted in really nicely. It's got that same gold all the way through the back of him. You can read "Made in China" here. So that's a little bummer, but not too bad of a deal. Looks like they filled in a hole right here. See that? Maybe there was something from the past figure. I know this is a... Or maybe that's just a, a whole filler hole instead of leaving a big gaping hole there. But look at his paint job on his face. It's done nice and clean. Didn't go out of the lines. Kept it inside. Spray real nicely. Evenly done. Great face. Yeah, Frieza. And I like that you can move his uh, head up. His head articulation goes up, so that's cool. Yeah, let's use that. There. He's not even actually, his tail is actually off the ground, just so you know. But uh, looking at his accessories, we've got the laughing, hysterical face. I love this purple, too. It's a nice, deep, metallic purple. Mixed with with the the gold, you got lines under the eyes. You can, he's got depth in the mouth. It's not just drawn on. The nose comes out really nicely. Looks good. I like the side details on his ears or his helmet. Okay, that's one face. He's got a a more angry laughing uh, more of an angry face when he gets really 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 mad when Goku's actually starts winning and he starts realizing he doesn't have as much of an easy run as he thought he did perfect I like the little red eyes placement's good mouth open nice and wide teeth painted in it's got a darker purple rather than the same purple for the inside of the mouth Looks good. Same dark metallic paint on the top. Great looking head sculpts, and they and they they change they change out on just in a regular ball joint, double peg ball joint. And then he's got his evil kind of stoic smirk. Looks fabulous. And look how they have the lipstick done right. The lips, the purple lips that he's got. Looks great. Great accessories. I showed you the pushing hands on the figure, but we'll bring them up close. You can see, nicely molded. Palm readers can read his palms. <laughs> it's got his fingernails painted in both sides. So, look, one dropped. He's got some of the smaller accessories, that's for sure. They're bent up. That's cool. 
So they're like that. Um, that's all the accessories he has, but for articulation, he's got a nice uh, ball. He's got a swivel right here on this part of the neck, so he can look right up. I like that a lot. I like figures that can look up. So you need to got a double ball joint for the articulation on the neck. So, yeah, we'll try to put on his more. These aren't the easiest to do when you're reaching in front of you, but the way I find to do it easy is turn it to the side, pop it on like that, and then turn it. Yep. But, uh, Seems like I did something. There we go. So he look up quite a bit. He looks down quite a bit, and then he also has his his neck is on a on a ball joint as well. So you can get all kinds of crazy poses like that. Looks great. Ugh, love this figure. It looks so cool. And then uh, so he can look all the way down. He's got an ab crunch as well. Uh, it's not big, but if you see this part, it lifts up. So it allows you to bend in. So he can look straight down. So that's really cool. He can look pretty good up. I noticed this head doesn't go back up as much. Maybe I put it on different or something. Or the ball joint's just twisted. Yeah, something. Hold on. Yeah, you have to turn the ball joint. There we go. I'll put back this head just to get it to... Excuse me while I waste your time. <laughs> there. See? Now you can look well, like you could have. <laughs> They're not the easiest ball joints to get on, but they work. Okay. So he's got a armpit joint. That goes up and down, and a little front to back, but it gets the job done. You can get his arms right across. He can do his little crossed arms thing, those fists, right? And most people put on the crossed arms, but I actually don't mind using the actual arms. I mean, it looks good enough to me. So he can do that kind of thing. What's going on with the light? There we go. Um, so front to back, up and down. He's got a hinge on there as well built up right there he's got the bicep swivel he's got double jointed elbows that go in that far very nice he's got the hinged um, the hinged wrists so you can get it to hinge back and forth and then therefore you can also turn it on that ball joint and then hinge it back and up and down as well so great posability on this guy you know get him one like this you can get him his hands behind his back doing his little thing like that all right he can also swivel a little bit at this upper joint not much but eh. not much but he can but he can also but look he's got this a lower abdominal ab crunch that'll go way back and forth. You can also swivel on it as a waist joint. He's got the pull down hips, so you can kick way up, just about, well, just about all the way. <laughs> and he can kick out to the side, no problem. You can use that on the swivel. That'll swivel on that on that swivel right there if it doesn't pop off. He's got the double jointed knees that go in about that far. He's got ankle tilts built right in. He can go up and down, go all the way down, all the way up. His tail is on a swivel and it also has a hinge. Let me know what you think of the review, guys. Leave a comment. Like, please leave likes if you like the videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And, uh,. You know, share with your friends, please. Um, get my videos out there. I'm going to be getting a new camera soon, and we'll have lots more videos to come. All right, guys. Go, come!